What's up? I'm Tarek. And I'm Justin from the Blue Stones. The first song people should download is is probably Black Hole Solid Ground, I would say. We have an album due out in October, October 26th. It's called Black Holes. So, I mean, that pretty much... Title track. It's the title track, good intro. Yeah. Lyrically, you know, it's something that I think a lot of people can relate to, especially, you know, being young adults, trying to make their way in, you know, a brave new world that we've got going on. But also, uh, I think sonically, it's a pretty good representation of our sound. So I think that should be your first sort of taste of what we do. I think a lot of people try to, you know, lump us into a box. I'd say it's definitely, you know, definitely alternative. Um, you definitely have that rock influence, a um, little bit of garage, a little bit of blues. But uh, if I were to just kind of put it into one thing, I'd probably say alternative rock. Yeah, it, it's it's tough. There's a lot of, we draw from a lot of different influences. So we kind of have a hard time putting a label on it, but other people seem to think that alt rock fits, so we just roll with it. Jimi Hendrix is up there, you know, for sure, guitar wise. Just the tone, the style, the power. Jimmy's in there. Mute Math, I used to listen to a lot when, you know, we, we were for initially writing and I used to watch their live uh, show. It's one of the greatest live shows I've ever seen, and I think their presence really sort of, you know, motivated us. Darren to, King is one yeah. of the best drummers ever. Um, totally. For sure, them. They're in there. Jay-Z, I mean, I'm I'm a hip-hop guy myself. Uh, Jay-Z was somebody I listened to religiously when I was in high school. So I uh, just kind of like the swagger and the attitude, but also sort of like the, the strength and, and the mind that he's got is something that I really look up to. We used to listen to a lot of jazz when we were in university, so acid jazz, Nesky Martin and Wood, just incredible like melodies and the, the way that they take their songs, the direction that they take them in, um, was something we drew a lot from. Like, you know, the song's completely different at the end than it was in the beginning. That was really cool for us. And then I'd have to say the Black Keys. I mean, I think a lot of people like to make the comparison. Um, we definitely drew on, not necessarily their sound, but like the way that they, they wrote their songs, you know, as a duo. I feel like we take a lot from that process as well. And, you know, we used to listen to them a lot uh, before we were even a band, so that comes through for sure. I would say it's, what about like, all that from two guys? I think the, yeah, that's fitting. Yeah. We hear that a lot. Yeah. We hear that a lot. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll just go with that. <laughs> I think when a lot of people come in to a show and they like are used to seeing a duo, um, they're used to something kind of flat and I don't know, we just, we like to go bigger than that. Um, I don't know, we don't we don't really even have like backing tracks or a bassist or anything like that. Um, like, I have like a little drum pad that I use for some samples and stuff, but I, we just like yeah. to fill the space and I don't know, We it's something that we've always done from the very beginning is sort of compensate for a lack of other members and other instrumentation. Um, so I think people are sort of surprised at like the wall of sound that we give them. For me, it's definitely like it's, when you put something out there, when you make something, when you make, when you write a song, the feedback that you get from like either an audience live or you know people will send us messages online saying how much their music has, our music has affected them. That's that's the best part. There's a lot, lots of good stuff about being in a band, um, but that's for me definitely the best part. Uh, yeah, I, I would totally agree with that. You know, that's a huge part of it. I just like the whole aspect of being able to create something, you know, artistically, but then also being able to perform it and being really physical about it on stage. So you can, you know, the thing that you created with your mind comes out on stage as like a physical representation of it. And I think that's really cool because I have a lot of fun when we play live. Yeah. You know, and, and that's that's one of my favorite things to do is the live performance aspect of it all. That's probably my favorite thing about being in a band. I, mean, I, I, I would guess... like to have a headlining tour. Yeah. Across guess... the states for sure. That'd be sweet. Um, definitely dabbling into Europe uh, and South America as well. That's where I would like to be in about five years. And, you know, kind of recognized, but also 
um, revered, you know, for, for making music that we actually care about because that's been something that we've had from the start. We wanted to make music that we liked and I feel like to be able to continue to do this for five more years and people look at us and say, you know, they didn't lose that, they didn't lose that passion of loving the music that they played, that would be enough. Yeah. Our debut album called Black Holes is out October 26th of this year. If you want to hear more, check us out online. You can find us. You can find anybody. We're everywhere. <laughs> We're everywhere, always. <laughs>